Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew! I'm Argelfump, and this is the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! And this is game number 26, Tomb of the Lost Queen. This is an interesting game. I don't know if it's immediately obvious, but it's different! The screen is larger for this game. They, they have a much larger screen and a totally different interface. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, uh, let's play. Oh, here's the next change. Amateur sleuth or master sleuth? It's not junior detective and senior detective anymore. No. Now you're either an amateur or a master. Oh, wow, no hints available on Master Sleuth mode? Oh, you're breaking my heart. But you have a task list on both modes, which is great. That's definitely good news, because last game, I was kind of dying. I was in need of a task list. So, uh, wh which one am I playing? Amateur Sleuth or Master Sleuth mode? I'm letting the people in the live stream uh, decide. Yes, two votes for Master! Yeah! And yes, yes, yes! The Anunnaki are in this game. And somebody still votes for Senior Detective Mode, even though that's impossible. Sixty years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. A British expedition set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary Lost Queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. And, and unlike other games, it doesn't start with a letter explaining who the characters are and what's going on. All we know is that, hey, Nancy's at a dig site. Oh, sandstorm! It's the coast! John, are you okay? John! Oh no, John! Help is on the way. Not John! Not John! How could John be injured? I, I, I mean, we spent so much time with him and everything. I can't, I can't handle this. Poor John. A lot, actually. The crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that. What? The docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy. You're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got okay. it. I'll see oh. if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. So it sounds like somebody attacked John right after they found this mysterious tomb. We don't know whose tomb it is. Hopefully Nancy will figure that out. And I guess John is her boss. Poor John. See ya. Bye. Yeah, so was he attacked or not? Uh, I think he got hit in the back of the head, maybe? I don't know, he could have been attacked by a sand monster. Oh, and there's our friend Lily. Hey everybody, say hi to Lily. Wait, why is Nancy job shadowing an archaeologist? Isn't she a detective? Ah, oh, whatever. Nancy, you decided to stay? Of course. Good. We need all the help we can get. Look, this is awkward. What's that? Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look. I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. So you're assuming full authority over me and everything I do? Uh, no, not gonna happen, Lily. I can take care of myself. 
I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? I'll answer that for you. No, you cannot. Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is. But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. I don't know, it sounds like you have already started power tripping, Lily. Because out of nowhere, it's like, Hi, I know there's only two of us here, but I get to make all the decisions. You do what I say. Okay? Ugh. I, I think because Nancy was job shadowing uh, Professor Boyle, Nancy should be the one in charge, right? That's what I say. Yeah, because uh, you're just a lowly, low-level archaeologist. I mean, you're still in school, right? She's not a full archaeologist. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Um, there is plenty to worry about. Somebody just attacked my boss, and then everyone else on the dig site abandoned the area because they're scared. I'll catch you later. Bye. Yeah, uh, Professor Boyle didn't say anything about you being in charge, Lily. Um, you know, maybe you should call him. Oh, wait, you don't have his cell phone number. I do, because he likes me best. And he said I could sneak around in his area. Whoa, you cannot go back there. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Oh, okay, well then forget the joke I just made about her not having Professor Boyle's phone number. I guess she does. Bye. See ya! Yeah, yeah, maybe Lily is just jealous that Professor Boyle talked to Nancy first. That could be it. Let's see. Beach Hill Museum. Dear John, I heard the recent Paris and William archaeological, archaeological Gala that you're still looking for the perfect applicant to round out your team for the upcoming dig in Egypt. I am writing to recommend Nancy Drew as a candidate for consideration. Nancy worked for us as deputy curator at Beach Hill Museum, where her observational skills and her attention to detail proved an invaluable contribution to the successful opening of the exhibition, Finding the Maya, A Lost Civilization, Speaks. I'm confident you would be as pleased with Nancy's work as we were. Her deductive reasoning, perseverance, and intelligence are an ideal match for your team's search for answers in the desert. Feel free to contact me with any questions you may have about Nancy's exceptional talents. Regards, Franklin Rose. Franklin Rose and the wavy signature. Okay, so Professor Boyle really just likes Nancy because they both wear mom jeans all the time. I, I think that could be it. Mom jeans, mom jeans, yeah. Yeah, they both have the similar uh, taste in fashion. And here are his notes. Those will Part be for of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Those will be for puzzles. Like those are those are 100 100% puzzles. Okay, and where else can we sneak around? Oh, this is Nancy's bunk. Nancy's got a book by her friend Professor Beatrice Hotchkiss. Yay! And Nefertari, that's that's the, the queen we're looking for here. Woo! Let's Great. see. I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. We're gonna have hieroglyph translation puzzles, obviously. Mmm, chocolate. And another hieroglyph translation puzzle. Ooh, good to know. I think there are two... Yeah, there, there are some special hieroglyph puzzles. And this is Abdullah's tent. Stay out of there! But I want to! Get out of there! But I want... Uh, what? Nancy looks in there twice. Lily just goes, ugh. Nancy's fired. Poor Nancy. 
Yeah, so that's a fatal error. Oh, that's not fair at all. Okay, uh, Professor Hotchkiss. Yeah, let's call her here. Why not? Let's start off with with some fun. Hotchkiss here? It's Nancy Drew. Oh, Francine, dear. I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating problem with my internet. This is Nancy Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing. Always in search of new identities. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the Weather Monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. Maybe you should uninstall it? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down? Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but uh, how do I know you again? Nancy, Drew, we've met a few times. Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt? Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh, dear. I sign and send lots of things. Ooh, could you sign and send me a check? Yeah, a check for a million dollars. What do you know about Nefertari? <gasps> ah, a love story. I'll break out the tissue papyrus because when I'm done, there won't be a dry Horus in the house. Uh, what? Look it up, dear. Ramses the Second and Nefertari shared a love so vast the world could scarcely contain it. I'm talking about the kind of love you spell capital L, capital O, heart instead of a V, capital E. They stood side by side and ruled the world, but as they saw the years stretch out before them, they were keenly aware that a handful of decades would never cut it. They needed to be together always. That's sweet. And relevant. The ancient Egyptians believed that life was little more than a dress rehearsal for eternity. I found records that they concocted a plan to be together forever, side by side. Why not be buried side by side? They foresaw a volatile future for their kingdom, and they were correct. They knew they would have to enact safeguards. That's why in 1904, when QV-66, the so-called Tomb of Nefertari, was found, her body was not there. What are the chances we found Nefertari's tomb? If I were a gambling Hotchkiss, I'd say 60-40. So... So King Ramses built a fake tomb for his true love? I still don't get all this business with QV-66. Why build a fake tomb? For the same reason I never carry my passport in my purse when I travel. Some things are too valuable to leave in a tempting place. You mentioned an expedition that found QV-66, Nefertari's tomb. It was one of the most significant finds in archaeology. They call it the Sistine Chapel of Egypt. It's where my fascination with the royalty of Egypt was born. The color alone took my breath away. We think of ancient Egypt as being a subdued sand color, but it was a riotous display with all the visual delights of a midsummer gelato shop cooler case. And you don't think Nefertari was entombed there? They only found kneecaps, which supposedly means that her tomb was robbed. You disagree? I do. What good is the mummy without the context? It's the placement in the tomb that makes the mummy valuable. Yeah, now I'm remembering. Also, one of the big changes in this game, people can talk forever now. I think there's a lot more dialogue. Why is Nefertari so important? There are two queens I find most fascinating in ancient Egypt, and for exactly the same reason. They were hidden. Hotshepsut is the first. I think I've heard of her. 
She was the pharaoh that was almost removed from the historical record, right? Exactly! Twenty-some years of peace and stability, and after she dies, that most the thirds, ancient cronies try to erase her from the record. Why? Jealousy, revenge, fear that his reign would never equal hers. You name it, but you can't keep a good woman down. Despite the efforts of Thutmose Third's supporters, her legacy endured. And Nefertari? In my opinion, she's the opposite. She was obsessively preserved in the historical record, but it was her tomb that was hidden. Have you heard of an expedition that went off in search of Nefertari years ago? Oh, yes. The team in which everyone died, is that the one? Yes. Do you think that story is true? Oh, heavens, yes. It's deadly out there in the desert. Think about it. You're going out there in search of dead bodies. There must be a reason they're in favor of the area. But this expedition wasn't searching for QV-66, right? Indeed not. That had already been discovered. They were searching for Nefertari's mummy. What do you think happened to them? Oh, it's best you not concern yourself about that now, given your current location. How sure are you that Nefertari's tomb was hidden? There was something strange about QV-66. I think that might be why it is off-limits to this day. It is? To you and me, at the very least. There is a rumor that the tomb has a clue to the true location of Nefertari's mummy. Really? Who knows? I'll tell you this. I didn't have time to read all of the hieroglyphs, but I noticed that the syntax was a little, shall we say, wonky? I don't know how hieroglyph syntax could be non-wonky. True, but it was almost as if Nefertari and Ramses II had their own language. I'd better get going. Hotchkiss out! Hotchkiss out! Thank you, Hotchkiss. Okay, so, uh, let's, let's, let's explore the tomb. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we need to explore the random tent first. Yeah, this random tent. Don't we have a, a puzzle to solve? Ooh, that's good. That's a light thingy. We'll, we'll need that. This looks like a map of the site. This is an awesome map. We will need that map, definitely. There's a book. There's a bird My thingy. My dictionary help translate that. Okay, great. So these are hieroglyphs that you can translate with your dictionary. Those are super easy to translate. The other hieroglyphs we come across are super difficult to translate. And, uh, oh, that's a puzzle too. Um, the eyeball number spied. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a picture of this. Sunny June's Alien Expedition. Woo! Fantastic. And I'll take a, a, a picture of this too. I really do like the, the taking the photo thing. It's very good. Yes, I like that. Super useful. Okay, okay. So we'll, we'll worry about that later. So this is the map of the area. Yep, matches the map Nancy has. Let's see, do I have this puzzle yet? No, that's the amulet puzzle. We'll worry about that later. I should try to piece the amulet back together. Woohoo! Okay, so you right click in order to rotate a piece. These two go together? No, of course not. Why would they go together? Ah! Uh, wow, this is gonna be super difficult. Hey everyone, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Hope you like jigsaw puzzles. We might be stuck here for a while. <laughs> Those two go together, maybe? Hmm. I'll figure out something. These two, maybe. Hmm. I'll make a match at one point or another. I do like this music. That's nice. 
But yeah, yeah, in junior mode, or I should I say amateur sleuth mode, they have far fewer pieces. Most of these pieces are uh, stuck together. Okay, what about the darker pieces? Maybe those go together. Is there a darker piece here with a curve? That matches the bottom of this one well? Someone says the thick line on the bottom, so like this corner. But I'd still need need like a piece to connect to it. Wow, I am just failing here. Okay, so it's it's a picture of a cat. Got two together. Okay, we got uh, a cat tail. Yay! Now it's gonna connect to it like this. No. There, there, okay, got got a little bit, got a little bit. Someone says there's a straight line at the bottom, maybe? Is there? Yes. Yeah, okay, if that's the bottom, then the cattail's like this. Yeah. I don't know where this other piece goes. Um, doesn't matter. It looks like we've got a lot of pieces. Okay, so is there a piece which fits directly into this gap? Like a circular piece? No, of course not. Why would there be? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This one, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks nice. Someone says the cat's tail points up at the end. If that helps, it might. Hmm. Yes, for this puzzle, getting two pieces together is a major victory. Maybe these two go together. Yeah. And so once you get two pieces together, it should be easier. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Once you get two pieces together, it should be easier to get them to connect. I think this is the bottom, though. I think this is the bottom piece. That would make sense. So what's a piece that goes in here? We have a little, little, like, jagged edge. That's a jagged edge. There, that's a good one. Oh, I wanted those pieces to fit together, but they did not. Oh boy, oh boy. Tail bones connected to the neck bone. The neck bones connected to the chin bone. The chin bones connected to the. Do, 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 do. I feel like that's the neck or something. Like this could be an arm. Well, maybe not. Okay. Well, let's look for a piece with a jagged edge that might fit into this. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, again this piece has a very specific shape. Very circular and round. Ooh, maybe this is it. Yes. Uh, 
And then it connects to another circular shape like that. Okay. I still have no idea where this piece goes there. Okay, good. And maybe that's the neck. Ooh. Wow, we're making progress, everyone. We, we're, we're rocking all of a sudden. All of a sudden, I remembered how to solve this puzzle, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So now let's just get the rest of the cat. How am I going to get the cat's, like, neck and body and head into place? Trying a bunch of pieces here until I, I, I find which one goes there. Something's got to stick there. There. Oh, please, yes. Yes. Got it. Or not. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get this. Come on, that's got to be the ear. There's a piece missing. Oh. I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in the tomb. So it's N13E2, and that's the puzzle for me and you. N13E2, it's all the way down and forward. Oh, and I think there might be a couple more items for me to pick up here. You and you. And... None of the others. None of the others. Okay. So it was... All the way down. There's nobody else here uh, at this point. Yep, nobody else here. So it's all the way over here. It's stuck! We have a bird thingy. This is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. Good. Can I go bearing over here? Found the rest of the amulet piece. I think I use a pick for that. Yay, and this is gonna be for a bird puzzle, so let me take my picture. Woo! Yay, the cat puzzle's done. Now now the game can resume. So uh this is Abdullah. He's I bet I could translate that. He's Nancy's boss. Never enter where? I guess he's Nancy's boss. I don't know, he's the local Egyptologist. Ah, oh, you are still here, darling. Oh, you couldn't drag me away. But uh, if you don't mind, I prefer Nancy. I prefer the distinguished Dr. Rakum. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know, are you very brave or just very stupid? Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse if that's what you're getting at. It is, but you still haven't answered my question. If there really is a curse and I'm ignoring it, then I guess you could say I'm pretty stupid. No stupid person has ever uttered that phrase. I've met many stupid people. As a group, they do not self-identify reliably. I see I must keep an eye on you. What's going to happen now that there's been a major injury? Usually it means we are going to be shut down, so now we work fast. Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike, but the medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. No, that can't be. That's what he said. This is serious. I know. Someone attacked him. Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it's best you be careful anyway. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. Do you have any evidence? Um, well, he said he was attacked, and I believe him. I have enough. If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? You are very shrewd. What do you think about Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Did you two get along? Get along? 
I know him. I respect his work. Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. One of the best? <laughs> I am the best. That's why this site is mine. Yeah, so Abdullah is kind of full of himself. What are you working on? This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. Can I give it a shot? <laughs> no. You want to try the other mural up top? <laughs> yeah, sure. I need a few tips for reading the hieroglyphs. A few tips? <laughs> yes, that's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious, but then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. Wow, yeah, and he's also a jerk. He's also a jerk. Have you made progress? Did you find anything to say whose tomb this is? I wish I could say we found the Lost Queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. We may find the mummy. But if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles, and I still grappled with them, sometimes for years. The actual riddles, <laughs> forget it. That's why I am here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. Cool. So he's full of himself, and he spends most of his time staring at the wall. Yeah, I'm not sure he would be a good professor. Like, if we took a class with him, he'd probably spend the entire time bragging about himself. What do you know about Lily? I've seen many like her. What does that mean? Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, they achieve. Or they flame out in a big pfft. That seems... dramatic. The world moves on the back of dramatic lives. I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge, she will go ping, flying off in a crazy direction. I do not trust her. Then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. That doesn't really make any sense. I still don't understand why you would want Lily to work with you. She is smart, and her downfall is being too ambitious. She is so much like me, I'd be a hypocrite to not like her. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, he could have just said, hey, she reminds me of me when I was younger, and that would have been a totally fine explanation. But no, he has to use some sort of random weird metaphor. I bet I could translate that. I speak that which I wish to his money, mummy. It becometh strong. And there's a blue cat. Okay, we'll worry about this area later. Let's see, can I steal something from here, perhaps? Shovel, yes. And now over here. Okay, puzzle time. It uh, looks like the red puzzles. scarab is missing. We need to find this scarab. That jackal symbol is at the beginning and end of this passage. There must be something special about it. Yeah, we can translate that. Okay, so this is the puzzle. Um... Let's see. Oh gosh, I don't I don't remember this puzzle. Um See, I, 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 yeah. Maybe I can solve this one later. These must be the Queen's titles John mentioned in his notes. It looks like a hieroglyph appears in the bottom row when the column contains only one type of hieroglyph. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom reveals the hidden message. So Nancy basically explains the puzzle for us. What you need to do is just move things around and um, make all these symbols. Well, that 
looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's see if I can do do this puzzle in any way. Um, whew. Let's see. So if those W's overlap. That would be great. Basically get symbols on the board where they they can overlap. Maybe this one on the far left. Oh. And then where am I going to get this W? Yeah, those two don't really match. So this looks like a unique symbol here. So I can't... Okay, I don't see where I have an upper thing... Uh, <laughs> Whew. Maybe I should have done this on the, the uh, amateur sleuth mode after all. Oh my gosh. Let's see. If I assume this is the leftmost piece then I need a piece here. I have no piece here that matches that one. Therefore, I can't have like this here. I need a piece which is on the left all by itself. That piece won't work because that, that locks off another one. Um, this piece won't work because that... I don't know, that piece actually does work. Yeah, those pieces, uh, actually those pieces line up perfectly there. Okay, well that's good. And then where am I going to um, get anything else? Like where am I going to get another piece which goes there? Hmm. That looks good too. Good. Now, how am I going to get this left-hand side anywhere? Um, hmm. This right-hand side anywhere. Yeah. Um, hmm. So it could be... I have to move some of these pieces on the right. You know, see, moving pieces left and right seems to be... Uh, Those are some very, very dramatic noises that are, are being made in the background. Yeah, so this would definitely be one of those puzzles where it'd be great if you just get the solution easily. Um, and if you don't, that would be very sad. Oh! 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 Oh no! Just missing one. Oh no. And I can't do something like... Uh, move that to the side because that wouldn't help um hmm, yeah this is gonna be a, a taking forever puzzle isn't it okay tell you what should I, should I keep trying to solve this puzzle legitimately or should I should I try to cheat the solution just look up what the solution is um hmm so those two overlap it's like, if I could find a way to get another spot, I need an extra spot, which means I need more overlapping somewhere. Hmm. Wait. What if... Move everything left once? No. No, now that, that just moved the, the missing piece. That just totally moved it. That did nothing. Oh, that would have been a great solution, though. Um, yeah. Um, 
Okay, those are some ominous lights there. Yeah, 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 ominous lights. Everybody's saying just cheat the puzzle. Okay, well, let's go and uh, learn how to play Senate. This game looks cool. Can we play? Yes. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. I threw a two. What does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. Can't do that. If you throw a one, four, or five, move a token and then throw the sticks again. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token's starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, okay. each with their own name and design. The square with the Ankh is a safe square, Lily's and the token on this forever. square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the Ankh, where the last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. Oh, thank you. Oh, because that's it. We, we do need to hear her explanation of how that game works for a puzzle later on, and I think I've got the cheat solution while she was busy talking. Uh, the solution to both of the puzzles. Okay, so let's... Let's do this. Oh, wow, I've been playing for 40 minutes already. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this piece goes on the far left. This piece goes on the far right. This piece was already on the far left, as as, uh, as I knew. And then this piece goes on the far left. So let's see if I can place everything else as a result. Um. Okay, so where's this other piece? This piece goes here. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's see if I can get anything else. Um... I would need to get, yeah, in order to get, um, th uh, no, no. Okay, this bird piece has to match with that. Okay, good, good. Yeah. That's it. Got it. Now if I only knew what it meant. Woo! And I think we can translate this. A queen is buried here. I knew it. Woo! Great king's wife, lady of two lands, beloved it's of much. It's still sealed. Oh no! Oh no! It's sealed. Oops. It's too dark. I need to find something to light the way. Whoa! What are you doing? I think we found the tomb. Lily appears out of nowhere as soon as Nancy finds the tomb. Was she just spying on Nancy this whole time so she could swoop in at the last second and take credit for all of Nancy's work? I've got to see this myself. Brilliant! Who is that? Hello, I random strangers! Time. How are you doing? What is this? Look at the hieroglyphs. There is something very important here. It's the curse. Everyone, get out of here. Oh, if I can just get this light to turn back on. No! Yeah, when Nancy said it's still sealed, totally thought it would be another puzzle. But no, it's not. It's not actually a puzzle at all. Yay! Hooray for not having to do every single puzzle of the game. All right, so this also looked up a hint for this. So it's come ye hither. Definitely non-standard words. Like these are not words you see very often. So uh, that's how that's how they made this puzzle difficult. We are the. Something. I am the air that I am the I 
think this is of, of, right? Of Horus. Yeah, we are the four of Horus. I am Imzidi. Oh yeah, and we have words that just aren't English words, so that makes it difficult. I'm Imzidi, protector of the south. I'm the cry that soars towards the setting sun. Yep, this has got to be setting sun. Together we are gods in the train of Horus. Guard the corners. I'm the air that sweeps up the Nile. Looks like I need to find out who the four sons of Horus were. Oh yeah, that's going to be a puzzle. Totally going to be a puzzle. Uh, later on, after we solve this puzzle first, I believe. So, the flashlight isn't working. I better find something else to light the way. It's very dark in here. We need to light up this. A lamp! Great! I just need to find a way to get it working. Do I have oil? I need to find oil for the lamp. No, so we need to find oil first before we can continue uh, exploring here. So where is Nancy going to find oil? I think it might be near one of those new characters. Oh, and there's a second chance if you drink too much water. Let's do it. Yeah, you can easily call Hotchkiss, find out who the Sons of Horus are. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yes. Oh, I guess not. I'd better get going. Hotchkiss out. <sighs> yeah, Hotchkiss, Hotchkiss never knows Nancy's name, but she's really good at remembering ancient Egyptian names. What can I say? Hotchkiss is amazing. Got it. Ooh, cool. So now I have. Now I have that thing. That's pretty cool. How many it takes for Nancy to uh, die? Good news, you didn't die of dehydration. The bad news, unfortunately, now everyone else will. Yeah, all the cracks in that magical cat thing disappeared once Nancy put them back together. Nancy's pretty awesome. Okay, so now that I have oil, I want to check out this tomb. We'll meet those new characters later. Uh, which new character should we meet first? Who should we talk to next? Did, did you want to talk to Jamila? I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. Yeah, Jamila is the female, and then the male is, um... What's his face? I don't remember at this point. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought I was really close to getting that piece. Okay, so uh, clearly what we need to do is, um... Get the light like this, but in reverse, if that makes sense. So I want the light to go here in reverse. That way it will bounce off this piece from that piece. Okay, so where was it? Bottom row. So if I could get the light somehow in the bottom row, that would be great. That's not bottom row yet. Yeah, like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Dylan. Dylan, yeah. Yeah, not my favorite puzzle. Not my favorite puzzle. Wasn't a big fan of this puzzle when they did it in, uh... We've seen it in a couple of games now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely in a couple of Nancy Drew games. 
Dylan Carter. Yes. Let there be lamp. Got it. So now this room is uh, completely lit up, and it looks beautiful. I bet I could translate that. That's not good. Now A I have curse. to know what the rest says. A curse on those who enter here. And now we need to translate this. Oh, and we have a quick translate button. Let's see. I'll use quick That's translate. That's not good. As for the one who broke the seal, agonies of death await you. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, we'll talk to Dylan after I finish these puzzles here. I'm just gonna steal these things. One for each of the four sons of Horus. Nice. Uh, okay, way too heavy. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Oh yeah. I think I think I can solve this puzzle now. Yeah, without having to talk to anybody. I think I could just run to the entrance because Nancy heard all this scaffolding collapse. She'll just grab some of it and, and then go back. Yes. <laughs> you can do it, Nancy. Okay, sturdy board and those spears. It won't budge. Must be locked. I need to figure out what these symbols mean before I do anything. Really, Nancy? Oh, oh, okay, here we go. I need to figure out what this means. Procession of gods begins to reveal, seek them out under the protection of the heavens. Great, okay. So that's going to connect to this puzzle, I believe, in that Four Sons of Horus puzzle. So now we do need to talk to people. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Jamila, I think. Yeah, Jamila, the crazy one. She's right here. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh, do not tempt the Anunnaki. The what? I should not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Oh, blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. And that's a terrible answer to the question. Yeah. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? A time like what? The makers. The original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born. And like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. We cowered and dug down into the earth. But one thing of all humans, we are curious. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. And there they met the Anu... the teachers. I don't follow. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return, we built them the pyramids. So, aliens. Aliens turned us into humans in exchange for some pyramids. I'm not so sure I agree with you on this one. If aliens built the pyramids, why were human leaders buried inside? They were not just rulers on Earth. They were the chosen, the favorite of the Anunnaki. What do you think of Abdullah? Not much. He talks always like there is an audience near. But what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. You don't think he should be in charge? I don't think he's capable of being in charge. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. 
If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. When did you become so interested in aliens? Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien or Alien Out course. Changed my life. Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? All right, I'll bite. Why? Because it was a rude thing to do, and they wanted no part of it. Who is Sunny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? To be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. So, I'm still not a believer in aliens. I'm still not a believer. But look around! This temple is proof! There is no way all of this could have been built without their help. All those things seem like human accomplishments to me. As they were designed to look. But I had hoped that you could see the strings, and not just the puppet. See ya! Bye. Bye. Okay, so that's Jamila. She's the crazy alien person. Yes? So, I believe we talk to Abdullah about Jamila, and then they start fighting. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. So I take it you don't believe in aliens? Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they have more to say. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Are you okay with her staying here? <laughs> no. Get out of my sight! You do not own this temple! Leave now, or I will remove you myself! I'd like to see you try. She sure seems determined to stay. Yep, she sure does. So he kicks her out of the area where she was. And she left behind this. Yeah, she thinks we built the pyramids for the aliens. Not that the aliens built the pyramids themselves. She's incredibly mm. wrong. And terminally, the has terminally to do with the stupid. Ah. I always get this uh, particular puzzle wrong. Let's see. I always forget which tile goes where. But if you get a tile on all four corners, you get an Easter egg. Alright, so, uh, with, with this puzzle, I think, uh, this is the one that goes here, in, in, in that spot. I'm, I'm guessing that's, uh, how it works. It's like, this piece goes in that spot, yeah, and then this one goes in, uh, this spot. Let's see, how am I, how am I gonna do this? Um, hmm. That piece in that spot. And then, um. Ooh. Let's see, these two pieces. Like this. And then how am I going to get green and red anywhere uh, close together? Let's see. Red like this. So green can go like that. But then how do I get red into place? Um, becomes a question. Uh, that becomes a very serious question indeed. Let's see. 
I get red in the same... Oh, I messed up already, didn't I? Yeah, hmm. I guess getting that one would be, um... So that's red. And this is green. That's how I get red in the same, uh, area as green was. Maybe. Ooh, okay. So if I could get green back, back to where it was, that would be beautiful. And then I would just slide red left in order to reach green. That's how I would do it. Um, yeah, let's reset that. Okay, first start by getting uh, these ones figured out. Okay, let's move this left, this down, and this left. That way I can get um, this one sort of there. Good. Actually, wait, it's gonna have to look more like this. to get the uh, black piece into place. So, um, now I need to get red sort of on this level. Yeah, hmm. So it definitely would be, uh, I get red like this, um... gonna be wrong that's gonna be wrong all the way but that's getting red and uh it's red and green on the same spot now I, now there's no way really to get this into the correct spot because if i move it up it's just gonna fall there hmm yeah this is starting to feel like this is another puzzle i should cheat okay let's See, now how can I get that? This just has to be incredibly difficult, doesn't it? Someone says doing red and then green. Yeah, maybe I could try that. Um, whew, I'm not seeing this puzzle anywhere. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could get red into place first, that would be beautiful. So if I did something like this, that gets red into place. And then how would I be able to nicely move green into place, though? Well, I need to get green to the left-hand side of the board. Something like this. Yeah, maybe attack green from below then? Something like green, green there. And somehow get these two pieces into place, maybe by themselves. Okay, hmm. Oh. 
Well, that actually worked pretty well. Doing something like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. But then, then I can't get that other piece into place. Yep. Okay, well, let's meet Dylan then. I'll see if I can find a solution to that puzzle. Yes? That's not Dylan. Bye. See you later. It's not even kind of Dylan. That's, that's Abdullah. We want to meet Dylan. Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. What do you think about Jamila's alien theories? Not much. Subject change. Do you happen to know how a bloke like me might impress that cantankerous old curmudgeon down below? You mean Abdullah, right? I very much hope there isn't another one. Hmm, I imagine he responds to people talking about archaeology. Brilliant. I'll do that. Thanks, Nancy. Brilliant. What do you think of Jamila? Is she for real? Because, wow, I've met some nutters in my life, but that girl belongs in a museum herself, with a little tag that reads, Insanus Totalis. Okay, so it looks like the solution needs to be red, black, uh, white, and then green. Okay. Oh, she's just different. No, I'm different. She's a crazy little rowboat to drift in a vast sea of insanity. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? Because I'm finding the lost queen? I'm a little busy right now. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Why? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sum. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. So he's not cleared to go into the site. Somehow Jamila is cleared? Bye-bye. Hurry back now. How did Jamila get clearance? She's a crazy alien lady. Yeah. Well, Jamila hangs out Nancy, here. Nancy, what's been going on? I opened the sarcophagus. You did? Oh, I didn't expect you to be so excited. I doubt it has anything to do with the Anunnaki. You never know. I'll have to see this room myself. So, here we get to solve this puzzle. Can't open it. Puzzle. It's locked. I need to open this. That's the solution. Why would an alien expert need an archaeology textbook? Woohoo! Oh, right. Okay, so that's definitely... Those are clues for more puzzles. Sunny Dunes. Visitors from the skies. I wonder what these mean. Yeah, there we go. That's cool stuff. Yeah, I think that's the important thing to get there. I don't think there's anything else here that's super important right now. Nope, just the book. Okay, so that puzzle was the uh, Sunny June puzzle. Show that off. So you put the numbers, uh, you know, 4, 3, 16, 32 to equal that. And now I'm totally forgetting how we put those together, but that's the clue for the puzzle. Okay, so where was I? Red first, red first, red first, then black and then white. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Red first. Okay, then black. Let's see, how am I gonna get white in the place? Like this. Yeah, like this, okay? White in the place and then green in the place. Good, we got it. Woo! I should look around for a clue to solve this. Oh, you don't have a clue yet? It fits. Now, what exactly does it do? 
Nancy has the clue already. So the four sons of Horus, we need to get them into place. So, hmm. We need to figure out the correct order for these, I believe. Right, and when we turn them, it turns the, uh, the, the pyramid thingies, unless I'm mistaken. Okay. So give me, uh, just one moment here. I should be able to get this figured out. Monkey on top. This on the left. Human on the bottom. Now we can rotate them. So you want to rotate them. When you rotate them, it affects the, the pyramids. Or, I mean, the things in the middle. Whoa! What just happened? I should see if I broke something. Got it. And that's how we solve that puzzle. So that lines up uh, these pyramids. See these pillars? Now Nancy can jump from pillar to pillar. I bet I could translate that. Just like this, Nancy's just gonna jump across it. Hooray. This looks important. Looks weird, doesn't it? But, um, that's how we're gonna solve that puzzle. Foolish and irresponsible! Whoa! You have no idea what you're doing! You have no idea what damage you have done! I'm sorry, I didn't know! You didn't know? Ignorance is not an excuse! It is the problem! You are off the site! Please! I will never even come near your work again! That is right, you won't! You don't deserve to be here! Have the dignity to admit it! Oh, help! I promise! Please! I'll do anything to stay! When the transport comes, you get on it! You are taking up space that a good student could be using. I want nothing to do with you. You will never have a career. Just leave! Wow. Wow, Abdullah. He doesn't seem to notice Nancy jumping across the site. He's too busy getting angry at Lily for... something. Did you see that? Are you talking about the columns? I knew there was something about this site that didn't add up. This is unheard of! The technology required to move the columns! Maybe aliens were involved. Very cute. Why are you so hard on Lily? It sounds so cruel, right? I am not her friend. I am her proving ground. If she survives me, no one will ever stop her. Not ever! If she does not, then she does not have what it takes to begin with. May you be so lucky as to have a mentor who pushes you. Still, you could be nicer. I learned to swim fast, not because I was taught well, but because there were crocodiles in the river. Yeah, so... That's Abdullah! Do you know Dylan? I know of him. You do? So he has a reputation? He is a very popular guide, for whatever that is worth. I do not like guides. They distort history and turn the other way as sticky-fingered tourists steal every bit of Egypt they can find. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Not harsh enough. Every tourist thinks, what will it hurt? I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come and they come by the millions they come. And bit by bit they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, um, la -da 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 -da. let's solve. What, ah, I keep getting stuck and, and turned around. Okay. So let's solve this puzzle. Now that I've seen the I procession need to get of the gods. gods to their proper locations. Now that we've actually seen the picture. Uh, we we can get all the uh, the gods in their correct locations. So it looks like it's gonna be these ones. So it's gonna be um, not that one on top though. Like that. It's gonna look like that. And 
then that in the middle, and another one like that in the middle, and then down were... What were the ones on the bottom? Were they... Oh, let's take another look. So, four on the left, four on the right, two in the middle. Did I get that right? Four on the left, four on the right, two in the middle. And then the ones at the bottom are just, like, birds, maybe? Hmm. Can I zoom in on this picture, perhaps? So it looks like it's gonna be, um... This. This next to a crocodile. And then below it's gonna be a crocodile head. So it's gonna be a crocodile head next to a bird head. So let me move that like this. So that's gonna be those four. I know I messed up the middle ones, didn't I? No, the middle ones look perfect, actually. Okay, so bird head, crocodile, crocodile, bird head. Then two cat heads there. Now let's see if we can get this middle. It's gonna be a scarab face next to a scarab face, a crocodile, and a bird head. So I just need another scarab face here. Um, a scarab face, which is underneath a crocodile. So, let's move it like this. There we go. Okay, and there's a crane. So perhaps that's what that creature is supposed to be, a crane. So let's see if I can get these two cranes somewhat next to each other. So they were two apart. So I'll put the crane here, move this crane down. So we've got two cranes that are two apart, matching the picture. Yay! Another coffin, and it's locked. Ancient Egyptians did not mess around. So I'm just gonna quick translate this all these things. This could be about things. the queen's children. Seven treasures of her own making. These must represent Nefertari's children. Maybe if I knew more about them, I could open this. Yeah, scarab face. That would be an insult. Hey, scarab face, what are you doing here? So, uh, Nefertari's children. We need to find out more about Nefertari's children. Let's go outside and call Professor Hotchkiss. And along the way, we uh, might get something cool from our friend Dylan. So, what do you know about the children? Do you know anything about Nefertari's children? Of course I do. Can you tell me their names? Yes, it's best we start with the boys. Sure. There's among her Kepshef, meaning among is with his strong arm. How do I spell that? Oh dear, you get a piece of paper and a pen and you write down whatever you like for the next five minutes. Paul Ray Hair Wenemeth. Ray is with his strong arm. Mary, beloved of Ray. Mary Autumn, beloved of Autumn. Oh, these names. The best part about ancient Egyptian names is that there are no ancient Egyptians around to correct your pronunciation. Oh, come back when you're ready for the girls. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters? I need you to do some searching for me. I've decided to restart my book project. Can you gather some information for me? If it means you'll tell me the daughter's names, then sure. Great! Who is above all the doors in the main antechamber? No idea. Let's just say it's Mott. Mott. Thank you. I'm ready for the daughter's names now. Merit Amen, the beloved of Amen. Got it. Henatawi, the mistress of two lands. Okay. Nebatawi, the lady of two lands. So it seems favoritism isn't a modern invention. And the children were mentioned in order, from oldest to youngest, right? Yes. Perfect, thanks. I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Fantastic. And Dylan, what's up with you? I've got something for you. What's that? Proof that space girl is batty. I saw her creeping around and she dropped this. Here. So yeah, he gives us this as soon as we get that thing from Jamila's bag. It looks like some sort of code. Ooh, you're generous. I call it the maniacal screed of a madman. Or is it mad woman? Why is madness gender specific to men? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off this small time tomb off our boots and see the world together. 
Um, can I keep this? Yes, but you have to promise me that if it starts making sense, you'll call a psychologist immediately and schedule yourself in for a full workover. You would have had fun seeing the world with me. Admit it. Yes, we would have gotten married and traveled the world. Bye-bye. Hurry back now. I don't know why he needed proof that she's crazy, because she is crazy. I think these letters will create words below. So you think he could have, uh, I mean, Nancy could have shown this to him at some point, right? <laughs> but she didn't. Okay, so now we need to create words. Like, uh, this looks like mummy. And, uh, um, la 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 la, don't see any others. So, tombs maybe, but that seems too simple. And... Obelisk. And this is Natrin, I believe. And... Scarab. And maybe Empty. Could be. Could be. Um... Wait a minute, wait, no, no, okay. So, um, I believe it's like the word cat is here. Hmm. Could be wrong, maybe I'll solve that one later. What was I in the middle of? I just got the names for uh, the the daughters, which I'll use here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Time Can't to use what I've learned about puzzle, Nefertari's children and hieroglyphs to okay. figure out the order. So you need to put all of the clues together in order to form uh, the names. So these would be like the random things that you found to learn how to do daughter of or son of. So son of always ends with the, the son right there. I think that's correct. Okay, so let's have those there. And then the female at the end of the name. Yeah, I guess Egyptians at the end of the name, that's how you uh, indicate the gender of uh, that particular person. Or at least ancient Egyptians. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, 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 I'm trying to get, trying to get the solution up. Okay, so the easy one is supposed to be this one. Okay, now on Amateur sleuth mode, Nancy tells you when you've got one of them correct, but we're not amateur sleuths. We are master sleuths. So we don't need step by step confirmation of correct answers. Okay, this is gonna have to look like this. That looks good. Got it. Done. It's empty. Wait, what are those? Oh boy. So. I need to piece these together. We have another puzzle. So many puzzles in this game. Another jigsaw puzzle. My, um, favorite? Yeah, this is gonna be kind of tricky. Okay. So I just need to rotate these pieces around. Uh, let me try to rotate them so all the hieroglyphs are standing upwards. Because we've kind of seen uh, where upwards is with the uh, previous translations, kind of. A 
was kind of creepy there. Like, those birds need to be facing upwards. Those pieces totally fit together, yes. And then these pieces totally fit together, too. Yeah. So it's just like the, the, the one we just solved. Or the one we solved sort of an hour ago uh, with, with, with the cat. It's just a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, you can recognize this piece, uh, upper left corner. It has the starting piece, the starting symbol, which we saw with other other ones. That's how Nancy knew. Oh, I can translate that. It, it, it starts and ends with the same symbol. That must mean it's important. She said something like that at some point in time. find a piece which fits there perfectly. Okay, so let's see if we can find a piece which fits here. Yeah, this one is tough. All these pieces are just overlapping. Um, as soon as I get some of these pieces out of the way, then it will be far simpler. Okay, what's a piece that looks like it would fit in that spot here? Kind of looks correct. Yeah, that looked really good, but I guess that's wrong. Hmm. This. Got it. Okay, so now I need... I guess a blank piece which will fit there on the on the left. Not that one, that won't work. Um okay. This looks like it's got a distinct edge too. Maybe for this piece? Oh, you're killing me. Okay. Wait, those two? No. Ugh. This is still a case where I would need, like, oh my gosh. Here? Yeah, there we go. I still need to clear off most of the board before I can actually see the pieces. Ooh, that looks great. Uh, this piece like that? Yeah. So then what's a piece with a, an edge like this, which would fit there well? Uh, I don't know. This is a very jagged edge, so it probably sticks somewhere. Like here? No, 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 that's wrong. there. Woo! Yeah. So many ripped pieces. Everything's just ripped to shreds. Ooh, boy. Okay, I'll just go to the strategy of looking at every piece and seeing if there's any piece which possibly fits there in that corner. Those fit together nicely. Those fit together nicely. Good. Okay, so let's see. Is there a piece that fits together nicely? Okay, please tell me these two big pieces. So I've got a big piece on the left and a big piece on the right. Please tell me there's some way I can get those two big pieces to fit together. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Uh, 
And hmm. Okay. So I need a piece which slides in here. Yes. Got it. Okay. So now I've got the giant piece here. If I could move all these small pieces to the side, that might help. There we go. Okay. Good. Don't know where that piece connects yet. Those two connect there. Um, that connects there. Good. Oh, come on. Those there. Game's being very picky about uh, exact locations for these pieces. So that... I've only got two more. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This here in the upper right. And yeah, here. Got it. Now to figure out what this says. Whew. Did it. Okay. There's another tomb in here. I need to figure out how to open it. Okay, so that would be the clue for this puzzle. It looks like something is missing. It but looks like something is missing. We're, we're missing something. We're missing something. And I believe that something is going to be uh, what we find when we solve this one. So let's see if we can solve it. So it's going to be... Tombs... Camel... And then this word is alien, because of course that word is alien. So upper the psalm, that looks like Egypt. Pali, Ali, um, Lotus, that word's Lotus. Thief, opening, beacon perhaps, plague, and then scarab. That's not it. Wait, maybe if I look at the first letter of each word and see if that says anything. Ah, Let's yes. see what this spells out. The first letter of each word. Cat blue. Opens to. I need to figure out what this means. Blue cat opens tomb. I should look around for something like that. Great. So let's solve that puzzle. It's a blue cat just like in Jamila's notes. I need to clear this stuff away from it. I'm surprised J Jamila didn't Almost find clear. this. All clear. It looks like something is supposed to be placed here. I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Oh, hey. Where did you come from, Blast. Dylan? It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? Never mind. I've got something here. Are you okay? Could you just shift it a bit so you can get the pressure off? If I can remove some of the pressure, I may be able to buy you some time. Oh my gosh. So this puzzle is terrible unless you're really lucky. Yes! If you keep doing things like that, I won't die! If Woo. I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. Yeah. Okay, I see people in the, uh, the live stream chat are talking about the Agatha Christie video games. Yeah, I I got an angry message from uh, 
her uh, publishers. Basically, they hit my, my YouTube channel with a copyright strike um, because I was playing the Agatha Christie video games. Yeah, oh, that's it. That's better. And so I had to delete all of my Agatha Christie videos, and I will never play Agatha Christie again, which is a sad, which is sad because those were fun games. But um, yeah, it was definitely a uh, book publishers. Yes, yes, that's it. That's better. So it wasn't like some random person pretending to be Agatha Christie. It was like, no, these are actually the people that publish her books. They actually sent YouTube a cease and desist letter to send on to me. Uh, how many do I need to get? Like four more? Oh, which one should I grab? Yes. That should hold. Stay still. Did it. I'm going First to find try. you some help. It's okay. Everything's fine. Ow! Never mind. Everything's a problem. Call the hospital. It took the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. I hope he's going to be okay. I'm sure he will be. And there's nothing you can do about it. I know, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Nancy, you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. No, I'm fine. Think it over. I'm the one who should be there and I'm not. Ugh. And as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. Yeah, so that is definitely life or death Jenga. Oh my gosh, it is craziness. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please, not you too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Uh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. I'd better get going. Talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, so I I mean presumably, you know, I could have fought back and said, "Well, you know what? Me playing these games is fair use. Um don't sue me." But I didn't want to get sued, period. So I, I, I just accepted it without fighting. I need fighting. to find a way to light this lamp. I need some fuel to burn first. I need to find a way to light the oil. I need to find a way to light this entire room. Now, today, it's, it's more common for, uh, you know, when people to... Uh, or like issuing copyright strikes on YouTube, they'll uh, they'll just say, okay, you can have the videos on YouTube, but we get all of the ad revenue. And uh, you know that's fine. I and that's fair. That's fair. Like sometimes the creators of a video game will want to take all your ads. That's I guess they can do that. I need to that. figure out what the hieroglyphs say first. Um, what do the hieroglyphs say first? A threshold to a hidden area, perhaps? And then sometimes you get people that say, Oh, no, no, this music I that is playing the in the background of the less. video game, that's actually my music, so I get all the money. But it's totally not. I hate it when that happens. Oh, which one am I looking for? The lightest or the heaviest? I totally forgot. Um, yeah. So, uh, light one, light one. I'm looking for the one which weighs less than everything else. So the cat was buried here. Yeah, yeah. So this is a free tomb for the cat. So you're going to put five on the left and then five on the right. Okay, so the light one is over here on the left. That pan went up. So one of those five is light. Let's weigh these two versus these two. And one of these two is light. That pan went up. So one of those two is the light mouse. And 
And it's this one on the left. <laughs> Woo! Mescanet. It must be the cat's name. And this is going to be a puzzle. How did Nancy translate that name so easily? Mescanet? Like it took her two seconds to translate that. Maybe she is a fantastic Egyptian uh, person. And great. I'm just going to steal the cat's necklace because the cat's necklace is what I need to open up that other tomb. Right over here. Remember, we needed a thing on the wall. It looks like something is missing. So we're going to move these pieces in the order uh, that was indicated by uh, All right, the Cobras. tomb in this Let's room. Let's get you to your proper places. So it looks like it's going to be yellow, green, yellow, red, blue, purple, green. Yep. Of course Nancy can translate Mescanet super easily. Nancy's just amazing. So where is that tomb thing? No, no, no. This one, this one. So it says the, the color. So green, uh, then gold, then carnelian, and then lapis. So those, those, those tell us what the colors are, basically. Hmm, let's see. My dictionary could help translate that. I know we have hieroglyphs here to translate. Okay. This is the path. I'm solving it correctly. Lies in destiny. Oh, no, 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 no. Destiny. That's nice and cryptic. It's got to be my destiny. Let's see if destiny really is the path. Destiny happens to be the name of the cat, which is Mescadet, uh, um, as Nancy told us. So it's, oh boy, what, let's see if we can do this. Okay, so it's going to be this one. I'm going to have to double check every single one, aren't I? Okay, cat and then head. Cat and then some sort of bird head. Where's that bird head? Bird head. Cat, bird head, scarab, and then curly thingy. Scarab, curly thingy. Cat, and then lines, and then cat. Oh, whoop, whoops. Clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, and the last one... This is one, not the best place to make a call. It totally is, Nancy. The last one is a slug. Woo! We solved this puzzle for real. Found a bird tile there. That's excellent. Wow! We found the real tomb. These look just like the symbols from Lily's game. I should talk to her about it. Yeah, so that's why we needed to talk to Lily and play Senate, was to get those symbols. That's basically it. Yep. Hooray. So now we can check out this area. Don't think there's something on the floor yet. Can't open it. It's locked. Very suspicious that we have a gate which is locked with a modern lock and an ancient Egyptian area. However, Nancy does not suspect it in the slightest. She thinks this is totally normal. Nancy is kind of a silly person. So let's see. Do we have all, all three birds bird tiles? Here. I must need to press them in a certain way. I need to figure out what it is. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Okay, and I believe I took a picture of that solution. Here, the birds. 
Pretty simple tile. I, I mean, pretty simple tile puzzle to figure out. Pretty simple tile puzzle to figure out. And what's this? This doesn't look like an antique. Someone has been sneaking around down here. Woo! This looks important. Okay, so that's a little bead. Yeah, somebody's definitely been here before, and it's not me. Oh, and more diary entries. Okay. That's so cool. So we found, uh, I think we found most of the tomb now, right? We, we found basically everything now. Hooray! Let's talk to Lily. What the? Uh-oh. I know that sound. I need to figure out where it's coming from. Oh, no, 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 a no, no, no. So, it's a Nadja Haji, the Egyptian Cobra, and Nancy's just gonna put it in the trash. Go in here. Luckily, Nancy had that stuff ready to go in her, in her, I can't in her believe bomb. that actually worked. I'd better find a safe place to keep the Cobra before I do anything else. Wait, cheap blue plastic is not antique? Yeah, this I think that's the modern safe cheap blue and plastic. Out of striking distance. And geez. Yeah, um... So those holes in the lid, did the Cobra make them or did Nancy make them? Either way, I don't think this is a safe spot. Right next to everybody's boots? That's not a safe spot to put an angry Cobra. That's what I think, anyway. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. Where is Lily? Lily, where are you? She's gone. She has these books. Okay, well, let's just snoop through her stuff, then. She has this Krollmeister... It's the same as the rhinestone What? Like what was she doing out in that part of the tunnels? Oh, no, it fell off of Lily's cheap sunglasses. So Lily was in that part of the tunnels. Aha, uh -huh. can I look through her purse? Can I look through her purse? What no, a of strange course not. Lock. There has to be something around to help me figure this out. I need to find the second half of this lock, otherwise I won't be able to uh, unlock it. Okay. Very good. Oh, and a task list. That's done. Check. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Haven't figured out who's in the gold coffin. I think the way to do that is to get rid of our friend Abdullah. Abdullah, where are you? Yes? Is it strange that some of the hieroglyphs don't make sense? There is a saying. If a lion could speak, we would not understand him. So let's say one day, magically, poof! A very smart lion learns to speak the king's English. How he understands the world is so radically different that even though you understand the words he spoke, you could never understand what he was trying to say. Is that how you think of the ancient Egyptians? Yes. Now let me show you why I am the best archaeologist in the world in one simple step. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. I am Ramses II. Okay. I, Ramses II, I look at my kingdom. Look at it with me. Be Ramses with me. Come now, survey the kingdom. We are kings. Look at the sands. They part in the most elegant tribute to our majesty. Listen to the river. You are not doing it. Yeah, Nancy cannot tell anybody about the cobra in the trash. I, I am sorry. I think somebody is just going to kick over that can or try to put in, like, a piece of paper, and then they get murdered. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks. Sorry. I'll try harder. Good. Listen to the river. That is better. The birds of prey and even the deadly serpents bow before us. They look to us as if we were the sun. And remember, we are Ramses. We are the sun, most favored by Ra, sun god. The heartbeat of this world is for us alone. Looking at all of this, what do you want? What could I possibly want? Exactly. Now tell me, what are you afraid of? I guess losing what I have. Yes, you are thinking like a pharaoh. Now tell me. How could you lose what you have? I can't lose anything. I'm the pharaoh. Wrong. You can and you will. 
You will die, Ramses II. You will be gone and forgotten. Okay, but how does all of this lead to the Lost Queen? For thousands of years, the lion spoke and no one understood. But understand the fear and you understand the man. Right. Okay, so I found a new chamber. I found a new chamber. We are close to her. Closer with each second. Well done, Nancy. You are very good at this. Yes, because I actually go to different places in the tomb and explore instead of staring at the wall. I found a gold coffin. It could be Nefertari. I must see this. Okay, we scared him away. I bet I could translate that. My dictionary could help translate that. Bad job, tomb. That doesn't even make sense. I need to translate the hieroglyphs. So this is a really easy one to do. This is the tomb of Nefertari. Nefertari. Could this be true? Woo! So can I mark that off on my task list? Haven't done that. Oh. Okay, never mind. I haven't done that. I really haven't. Oh, and Abdullah's key. I'll just steal that too. Yay! Hooray, is Lily here now? Oh, she's probably gonna get in tr She's probably gonna get mad at me. I probably can't break into here with her watching. Stay out of there! Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Lily caught you snooping in her things. Not her things. Abdullah's things. Totally different things. Okay, well, let's let's get rid of Lily then. After we confront her, she's just lying down on the job. Nancy, things are moving. I heard the pillars moving. This place is seriously messed up. That was like an I hour ago, that, but Lily. I don't think Lily, Lily, come on, come on. Let's 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 try to keep up the pace and stick with what's going on now. Did you see the cobra? No, you didn't. I don't think we're in any danger. And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? Call it a hunch. At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Well, we right? Have lots of things right. we can talk to her about. Um, okay, what about the fight with her and Abdullah? Why did you two fight? I have to admit, I overheard that argument between you and Abdullah. Are you okay? You did? What did you hear? I'm not sure, really. It just sounded pretty bad. It was. He can be rough to work with, but he's the best. I just have to get better, and not make such stupid mistakes all the time. Is there anything I can do? Yes. I need your help sorting amulets. This has always been the thing I've been worst at. Please say you'll help. I'll help you out whenever you need it, I promise. Um, maybe later. What did you do to make him mad at you? Maybe later. That's okay. I'll figure it out myself eventually. There was a cobra on my bed. That is crazy. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Is it still in there? No, I took care of it. Well, I'm never getting any sleep tonight. I imagine you aren't either. I take it you're not a fan of snakes. No one on Earth is a fan of snakes. If it lives on dry land and does not have feet, it should not exist. Even thinking about snakes gives me the creeps. So Nancy told her about the cobra. She doesn't tell Lily that, oh, by the way, the cobra's right outside the tent flap. Don't let the cobra bite you on your way out the door. I found a gold coffin. We might really be on our way to finding Nefertari. I can't believe it's really her. The lost queen, and we found her. Do you have any idea what this means? She'll need a new nickname? Very funny, but I do suppose you're right. What do you think about the returned queen? I should write that down. Nancy, this, you and me, we're going to be in the history books. I look forward to being men- Okay, 100% me. I'm gonna be in the history book. You were just sitting around doing nothing the whole time. Mentioned in many sixth grade essays. True. But Nancy, you need to realize that this is important. How many people actually get to be part of something important? I discovered a new part of the tomb. You need to make sure Abdullah knows. 
Everything you find needs to go through him. I think one of the things we talked to her about um, will make her... Okay, yeah, yeah, we did need to ask about the Senate board. Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? The special squares are the House of Rebirth, the House of Happiness, the House of Three Truths, and the House of Ray Atom. That represents the House of Water. What's the House of Water? In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, the House of Water became a powerful idea. It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. I found a rhinestone in a hidden tunnel. So? That could mean anything. You're the only one here with rhinestones. That means you were there. It doesn't mean anything. Leave it alone. No, 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 tell us more, I... Uh... Do you know what caused the cave-in that got Dylan? The curse! No, I mean what really caused it. Call it what you want. This is the Carter expedition all over again. You know what happened to them? A series of unrelated accidents resulting from subpar medical practices? No. When the expedition ended, they started to drop like cursed flies. Madness. Diseases. Strange accidents. The worst part of this curse is that I don't know if we'll ever really be in the clear. Oh no! Abdullah needs you. Thanks. I'll be right back. And do not touch a thing. Okay, so yeah, now we can just make up stories about Abdullah to get rid of Lily. There, I found out how we get rid of her. Okay, so Abdullah is hiding. Who would lie about this? Hiding this. He knows Sunny June. For some reason, he's lying about it. I knew something didn't seem right. Dear Mr. Bakum, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh. Uh, Lily was found guilty of plagiarism. Um, Lily's Lily's a bad person. Well, I already knew that. Um, and Abdullah likes wearing jeans as well. Woo! Okay, so I think that's it. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else we can uh, snoop around. Snoop around. What do we do now? I believe we can call our boy Dylan. Nancy has uh, his phone number now. Oh. Dylan? Is that you? Are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too badly hurt. I'm in traction. That's pretty bad, by the way. I can imagine. Traction is bad. Just a little FYI, courtesy of me. You sound a bit scrambled. A truckload of rocks will do that. Amazing fact, courtesy of Dylan. Should I let you sleep? No, no. They think I'll die if I fall asleep. So I can't do that yet. I'll be fine though. Unless I fall asleep in the next eight hours. And if that happens, pff, all the way dead. Oh, well, don't do that. It is impressive how much your body dislikes having a few tons of stone dropped on top of it. Listen, very fortunate that I called you. Yeah, Nancy apparently just has Dylan's phone number. I don't know when she got it from him. I guess she did it when uh, we weren't watching. Actually, I called you. Mm, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe your phone is backwards. Listen, I need to tell you something very important. Okay. When I was lying there, under all that stone, I heard a voice. A woman's voice. What was it saying? Something in an old language I've never heard before. Something ancient and creepy. That tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Are you sure it wasn't just something you imagined? I know I'm all turned around, but I know what I heard. Even if they would let me sleep, I couldn't. Every time I close my eyes, I hear it. You need to leave. I need you to try to remember. Is there anything else at the site that seemed strange? I don't know if my memory could be trusted right now, but I do remember something strange about Jamila and that weird bag of hers. Strange? How? One second, it would be empty, and then she'd reach down into it and pull something out. It was like a really bad magic trick. I'd better get going. I'll be seeing ya. 
Yeah, so there's a hidden compartment in Jamila's bag. Thank you, Dylan. What happened here? Where's all of the water? It's gone. Who would be crazy enough to do this on purpose? Somebody got rid of the water, destroyed all the water. Now they all could die. This is a bad situation. Uh, let's get rid of Jamila so we can sneak into her bag. Hi, Nancy. The water tank was destroyed using the discs from your bag. If the discs were used, it wasn't me who used them. Maybe it was the Anunnaki. What do you think of Dylan? The tour guide. Yeah. Did I have to have an opinion of him? I guess not. Oh good, that's a relief. Do you know anything about the gods of ancient Egypt? Yes. Here, take this. Oh. I guess we should have gotten that earlier. This is also a clue for uh, the uh, translation puzzle we had to do with the sons and daughters of Nefertari. Are you interested in archaeology? No. Then why do you have an archaeology textbook? You looked in my bag? Well, I couldn't. I just said, oh, by the way, I found that the water was destroyed. Something from your bag. Did, did you not pick up on that, Jamila? help but see. I am not angry. The Anunnaki value curiosity. You will not understand what you find, anyway. You didn't answer my question. Why should I bother if you're so good at sneaking around? Everyone here seems to be hiding something. Like your boy Dylan. Why do you think he was here? This is an exciting sight. Who wouldn't want to be here? Please. The same could be said of anywhere. Dylan has been lying to you. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted in. That doesn't make sense. It does. You're telling me Abdullah is a member of the Black Market? That This is like important information just to drop in the middle of a conversation. Because the reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. He did come here to become a more competitive tour guide, just not in the obvious way. If he could provide tourists with one-of-a-kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. I can't believe he'd do that. Never trust the cute ones. They know what they can get away with. Why do you have so many cameras? These are momentous times. When the Anunnaki return, I'll be here to document it. I wonder if they show up on film. You don't really believe in any of this alien stuff, do you? Of course I do. What's gotten into you, Nancy? I've seen Sonny's letter. He says you've never taken one of his classes. How do you explain that? Fine. You've made your point. What do you want from me? The truth, for a change. I guess the truth is mine to tell, and yours to find out. So who are you here for? Abdullah or Nefertari? Who says I'm here for either? Common sense. You're an interesting one, Nancy. You didn't answer my question. If you ever want to hear my answer, we'll need to reach an agreement. What kind of agreement? You don't speak a word of this to anyone here. Oh, sure. The time is not right. Wait. I think I found a new area of the tomb near the main entrance. You did? Okay, and that gets rid of her. So, so basically, um, she's faking it. She's not actually... Uh, a crazy alien person. She's secretly... What is this? What is Jamila actually up to? Well, I guess we don't find out quite yet, but it looks like she really doesn't like Abdullah. Oh my gosh. Dun, dun, dun. I think she's on the track of Nefertari. That's who she's been trying to find all along. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to know, and I think we need to talk to her when she returns, but it'll be uh, a, a while before she returns. Where did, where did Abdullah go? All the characters just disappeared on me. Yeah, Abdullah leaves, Jamila leaves. Now our... Now I guess Lily is the only one we can hang out with. Well, we've got some time to kill until Jamila returns. Let's call Bess? Let's call Professor Boyle. No, let's call Bess. Might as well.
Hi, Bess. Nancy! How goes the old mummy hunt? Good, I think. Maybe bad. Something happened, didn't it? There was a sandstorm, and the professor from Kingston had to be taken to the hospital. Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. I will. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers. But you can call me anytime you need help. Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Someone slashed the water tank. We're in big trouble. That's bad. How bad is that? Hang on. How long before you die in a desert with no water? Question mark. So? Two days. That's the good news. The bad news? The second day sounds really, really bad. Nancy, you need to get out of there. Yeah, I guess it's possible Abdullah's just looking for the coffin that Nancy told him about. And he's just going to be looking for that coffin forever now. <laughs> um, it's going to take him the rest of the game. I don't think he's ever going to come back. I found a cobra on my bunk. Nancy, I've been reading up on curses, and this is one of the hallmarks of a classic curse. Once the seal has been opened, the creatures of the desert get all riled up and turn against the interlopers. You guys are the interlopers, by the way. I know. Is it still there? No. I think someone put it there. Who do you think would do that? Who do you think put the cobra there? Lily, Dylan, Bess, Abdullah, or Jamila? I'll let you people watching the live stream uh, figure it out. So, um, she said, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's just a saying. It comes from an old commercial from a guy who's like, well, I play a doctor on television. Ha ha. Do, 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 do. That's like, uh, you know, I say, hey, uh, while well, I play an extrovert on YouTube, uh, and in real life, I, I'm not. I just like to stay at home and read books by myself. Best did it, best, Lily, Lily, best, best, Lily. I think we've got a best and a Lily tie, so let's say best and Lily tie, and hear both of them. You. Honestly, Nancy, let it go. That was a harmless little garter snake, and we were kids. Anyway, it was George's idea. I think. It seems Georgie. Yeah, that was cute. So yeah, we can we can accuse no, Bess. No, I think someone put it there. Who do you think would do that? But let's actually accuse Lily, because, you know, she's a suspect. Lily, she spends the most time in the tent. It could be her. She's off my Christmas card list. I'd try looking through her things to see if you can find proof. <laughs> oh, man. The tomb collapsed. Dylan had to be rushed to the hospital. My gosh, is he all right? I think so. It would have been me if he hadn't pushed me out of the way. This is just like that movie. This curse is coming after you, Nancy. You were the one who broke the seal of the tomb, weren't you? Of course you were. Yes. Nancy? What if it's coming after you? What if what is coming after me? What? Who? I don't know, okay? I know you're not going to listen, but I wish you would just come home. I'll let you go. See ya! Bye, Bess. Okay, so is Jamila back now? Yes, she is. Hello. You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? In part. I don't like him. Why? Because he's on the take, and he stages. Stages? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. That's a big accusation. I have more proof than I need. So you don't actually believe in aliens? Right. Except... Except what? Sonny, he really is special. What do you mean? How so? I can't be the one to tell you. If you ever need to know, he'll find you. See ya. Goodbye. I think uh, we can check this. What? How could a mummy just appear like this? Oh, something is very wrong. Oh no! So Jamila's right. Apparently Abdullah just takes mummies and moves them into separate tombs to make himself seem cooler for discovering new mummies. Back so soon? 
You really seem to hate Abdullah. Why? Egypt is not for sale. Not anymore. The land has been plagued by men like him, but they're tearing out the soul of this country out of greed, and they do not care what they lose along the way. Oh, and here, Nancy's going to bluff. I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. Yeah, I totally have government authority, so do whatever I say now. Hey, isn't that the exact same thing Lily did to Nancy at the start of the game? Lily's like, I've got authority. I'm in charge now. I'm the boss. You do what I say. You do not. You want to try me? Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. Why? Because it is my destiny to do this. Or to die trying. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true. Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. He knew the land would suffer tyrants. That she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had a hidden and called upon our bloodline. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari. And only when the time is right will we be able to find her. Then what? Then she's returned to her rightful place. And we are relieved of our duty. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her. That she was bound by fate. As am I. One day, I will have a daughter. And she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me, not Abdullah. Do you really believe all of that? Yes. But why the fake aliens? Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. So you hid in plain sight? Exactly. Here, take this. This is from Lily, isn't it? Yes. And that's the story. So ever since the time of Ramses II, there has been a secret society entrusted to finding Nefertari. So this has been going on for thousands of years. She is the most recent member of this organization. Is it just me or does that sound even crazier than aliens? Kind of. These numbers should help. Let's see if I can open it now. Just a little crazier than aliens. So here you need to make uh, like groups make groups uh, 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 we, we saw the instructions earlier uh, right over here so we can make groups like that or that but nope 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 it either has to be a square or a, a rectangle so let's see um, five five has to be no, that can't be right. Like this. Because five can't be a square, whereas, uh, I mean, yeah. Because five's an odd number. Yeah, so the odd numbers are the ones you can do easiest. It's like three, it could be three and three like this. Maybe, maybe. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just say the entire thing there is seven. No, that won't work. Um, that's that's nine. That's not eight. Okay, six. It's gonna have to be something like this. I got I got these threes incorrect. How can I redo those? Three, four, six, six. Oh darn it! I've got that eight wrong. Okay, let me see if I can get this solution. Okay, so eight. Eight. And then one, two, 
two, three, four, five. Okay, stop. How do I... Redoing things in this puzzle is a pain. So six, four, and four. And then four like this. Okay. Slithering snakes! Oh no! Lily did leave the snake inside Nancy's what? bunk. Why would Lily have this? Why would you do that, Lily? What is wrong with you? What is Lily up to? Why does she want to murder Nancy? And then this is going to be one of the, uh, well, one of the final puzzles. Rebirth precedes happiness. Just remember, Lily I said. Take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. Woo! Oh, I mean, no, this is terrible. Inside the tomb. Okay. Inside the tomb. A bit safer inside here. Okay, I don't want to look at that. I wanted to look at. Where is the secret opening here? Yes. Here. If I combine what Lily said with John's notes, I should be able to figure this out. Do I actually have the notes here? So like this, House of Rebirth is the Ankh, House of Happiness, Truths. I can solve this. Okay, Rebirth before Happiness, Truths follow Rea Tomb, Water at the end, Happiness before Rea Tomb. Should I solve this uh, legitimately? Okay, I can. I can, let's see. I would just need to write this down. So happiness before Rhea Tomb and rebirth. Okay, so it's going to be rebirth, happiness, Rhea a Tomb, waters at the end, and then three, two, three truths is after that. Three truths is after Rhea Tomb. So it's going to have to start with... Uh, let me see my notes. Rebirth. So rebirth was the Ankh. And then it's going to have to be happiness, which is the falcon. Then ray a tomb, which is the eyeball thing. And then it's going to be the three tooths, uh, three truths, and water. Nefertari. Done. It's got to be. And just Ooh. what... Yeah! Solve the puzzle and... Oh no! Lily, what are you doing here? What do you think you are doing? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do. Lily, look out! So, uh, I would really like more of an explanation as to what Lily's doing. Why did she leave a cobra in Nancy's bunk? Uh, yeah, Lily, tell us more. Are you okay in there? I'm still in here! Lily? Lily? I'm fine! Can I get a confession? Are you okay in there? I'm still in here! No, we're just, I guess we're just gonna end the story there. Okay, uh, sure, fine. So, um, I think we need to go all the way around the tomb and try to save our good friend Lily. I don't know why I called her my good friend. She just tried to kill me. Nancy! What's oh, the matter? Oh, hey, Jamila. What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. Okay, so Jamila's gonna take care of Lily while I escape. A key? Is there a second exit? Yes, yes. we know that. I can't just leave Lily. And you can't help her by staying. Go, call for help. If you see Abdullah, run. So yeah, what was Lily doing? I don't quite know. Lily, are you okay? I'm still in here. 
Nancy, you could squeeze in through that. Ah, I guess there are rocks on the other side. Um, okay. So, I have no idea where Jamila went. Seriously, she just sort of disappeared. Uh, yeah. Well, where's that pathway? I, I think it was connected to these rooms? Yes. So remember that very modern looking gate? Well, we are going to escape through that very modern looking gate as soon as I find it. No, seriously, it, it, it was right here, right? I leave the tomb and then it's on the left. Yes. So somebody installed this gate at some point. And the riddle, they arrive on six feet on soaring wings with a howl of a bleat, the ancient reptile leading Stuck. the way. Oh, there must be a way I can make it to that door. So I need to find the correct head. Is a snake. Not, not a snake, a crocodile. So move the crocodile and then click the middle thing. Underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. Okay, so the jackal... It's actually this one, um, actually. And then the next one's gonna be green cat head and woman with a sun. Yeah, solving this puzzle through trial and error seems to be the easiest thing. Um, okay, so the last one was the woman with the sun. Drawn onward by the steadfast cow, a throne accompanied by hieroglyphs before the throne of the mother. These are strange ones, aren't they? The first one was pretty easy to solve with the ancient reptile, although, you know, the... the it's weird. Half the key to the Order's hidden exit. So this is the hidden exit that the Order of Nefertari built thousands of years ago. Yes. Yes. And here we go. Exit time. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? The curse. It was you. Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. Okay, so this is a puzzle. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. Okay, so blue to blue here, and then uh, yellow to yellow there. You will not get away! I better not make any mistakes. Yeah, better try not to screw up. Okay. Um, let's see. Blue to blue again. Something like that. I think that's something. Um, okay, so now I'm going to have to go down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now Nancy's going to have to go up to red. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, that's the solution. Okay, yeah. Pretty, pretty simple solution. I have no idea where Abdullah is standing right now. He's just on a jumping area with blocks while... Nancy solves this puzzle. Done. Leaving so soon? Yeah. Uh, that's that. Now come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Yay! So Abdullah was about to kill Nancy when John shows up and hits Abdullah in the back of the head. I always knew John was the best boss ever. Woo! 
So yeah, that that end game challenge was actually easier than the challenge of solving the riddles and, and figuring out which buttons to press. I'd have to say the ending challenge is kind of easy. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have- So why did Lily put a cobra in Nancy's bed? Good question. Good question. Good question. And Lily, I guess she was just a nasty plagiarist, or she wasn't a plagiarist? I, 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 I'm, hmm, I'm so confused. Had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is, and I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, so the three basic groups of hieroglyph signs... Determinatives? No, phonograms. Ow! Oh, okay, so I only got these awards. I got an Easter egg, and I did very badly on the scarab puzzle. Okay! Yeah, the snake was attempted murder. Lily, Lily did attempt to murder Nancy, and somehow she was sneaking around in the back areas before Nancy opened them up, and, and she lied to Nancy about it, too, and I don't know. Nancy did forget about the cobra. Nancy is a very, very forgetful person. So yeah, the story for this is kind of, um week I would say we, we, we left out a lot of stuff like I feel like Lily's backstory totally could have been fleshed out and that whole Abdullah selling things on the black market uh, I think there is a way to get more information about that uh, if you do the uh, amulets puzzle but you don't have to so yeah yeah I mean somebody in the chat pointed out this game is great with puzzles and exploring I really thought it's cool because you saw puzzles and, and and you know the tomb gets larger and larger as you meet new areas like you're really exploring I thought that was neat I especially liked when we did that in a curse of Blackmore Manor too where you find new areas and explore them but there was no real story to back it up. It's basically Nancy running around in a tomb by herself, opening up empty areas, and nobody else really interacts with her. We never find out why Abdullah was mad at Lily, either. That that was also something um, that didn't quite get um, followed up on. My goodness. So, yeah, it, it feels like definitely the characters could have been... Um, better in this game because you know Jamila's main purpose is to be crazy until it turns out she's actually a super smart Egyptologist in disguise at the end because she's part of an ancient organization okay that was kind of weird but um I Have mean you heard the story of the two mummies of the sea in the 1800s a sea captain came into possession I don't of really two need to hear this uh, and, and then, uh, what was, what was Dylan? Well, Dylan was there to be a hot guy, but then he gets attacked and leaves halfway through. Yunus Abdullah left about halfway through, and Lily 
doesn't really do anything. She just sits on her bed all day. Besides trying to kill Nancy the one time, she got into a fight with Abdullah about something. So, um, you know, good puzzle game, I would say. Probably not a very good, um, story game. It reminds me of uh, Trail of the Twister, which is sort of the same way. It's like, oh, okay, well, the, the puzzles are fine, um, but uh, the characters are just sort of there. They're not too memorable, and neither is the story, so it's just kind of, I guess, bland and average, I would say. But, you know, who knows why that is. It could be because they they had to spend a lot of time doing a lot of work switching to the new interface. Maybe that took up all their time. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you, if you are a fan of ancient Egypt and exploration, then it, th this is good. Yeah, I, I would say. Okay. I think that's it. Um, you know... <laughs> Everybody here, everybody here is talking uh, uh, about the uh, the game here. So there always has to be a hot guy in these games, right? Right? Nancy Drew games. Everybody loves the games with hot guys, just like uh, uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch, right? That's half the reason everybody loves the game. Do we have a preview of the next game? Let's watch the preview of the next game, and then I'll end this video, okay? Half scientist, half magician. Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking work electrified the modern world. More than 50 years after his death, many researchers would kill to solve the mysteries he left behind. Now it seems someone has. Days before a highly anticipated announcement, one of the world's top scientists was found dead. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of the deadly device. I really love the Deadly Device, though. I, I would play that game, like, ten times in a row before, you know, playing Tomb of the Lost Queen. That's how much I love it compared to this game. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!